some colors that you want along with some black yarn for the facial. We're going to need some safety eyes, some yarn needles, your crochet hook, some scissors, and some polyfill. Okay, so you're going to start off with the color you want to be the focus of the bee. And then we're going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So now we're going to do an increase. So we're going to go back into the first one and do a double crochet. So there will be two single crochets in one spot. We will end up with a total of 12 in the round. Now we're going to do a single crochet and then a double crochet, ending with a total of 18 in the round. We're going to do two single crochets and then a double crochet, ending with a total of 24 in the round. Next, we're going to do three single crochets and then a double crochet, ending with a total of 30 in the round. Now we're going to do four single crochets and then a double crochet, ending with a total of 36 in the round.
Okay, now we're going to do two rows of just single crochet. Okay, so now we're going to make the face of the bee. We're going to need safety eyes, yarn, scissors, and the needle to do this. Okay, so next we need to switch colors. So grab your second color of yarn and then do three rows of single crochet.
Okay, so we need to switch colors again. So grab the color yarn that you started with and now complete three rows of single crochet with it. Okay, so we're switching colors again, so grab the second color yarn that you used and complete another three rows of single crochet.
so this is the last time we're switching colors so switch colors and grab the color of the original yarn you started with and complete two rows of single crochet Okay, so now we need to start decreasing. So we're going to do four single crochets and one decrease. Okay, so now we're going to do three single crochets and one decrease. Next, we are going to do two single crochets and one decrease. <music> Lastly, we need to do one single crochet and one decrease. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stuff the bee, and you can add as much or as little of the polyfill that you want to. Okay, so now that we've stuffed the bee, we need to complete a decrease in every single space and then complete one single crochet. Okay, so now we will go ahead and cut the yarn creating a tail. We will then thread the tail through the needle and then take the needle and go through all the spots that we completed decreases in. After threading the yarn through all the decreases, go ahead and pull it tight and then knot it so we can try to close up the bee. We will knot the string on the end of the needle and try to hide the tail. We'll do this by sticking the needle through the bee and coming out the other side, doing it a couple times to try to secure it.
Okay, so now we need to make the wings for the bee. We will start off by crocheting six single crochets in a magic circle. The next step for the wing is to complete double crochets. step for the wing is to complete a single crochet and then a double crochet. After this step you will go ahead and tie it off and then you will repeat the same thing for the second wing. After completing both of the wings, now you have to find the middle of the bee on the top. Attach the wings where you think it will look good. You do this by using your needle and the yarn left over from the wing where you cut the tail. First you go in the bee and then through the wing and do this multiple times until it feels secure and then you knot it. Now you have a completed B. Thanks for watching.